everyone. Welcome to TM Family Cooking. Today I will show you how to make Korean pancake, which is called Bucheojeon in Korean. I have a funny story. When I first met my husband, I enjoyed cooking for him. And one of our first dinner was Korean pancake. My husband said that he was confusing about the eating, eating pancake for dinner. And he saw I put in pancakes, lots of different vegetables and meat. And then he was confusing even more. And then I served to him to that Korean pancake. He tried it and then he said, oh, it tastes good. And then he said, oh, he liked it for dinner, this, this pancake. Next morning, he woke up early and then made American pancake for breakfast. And I was thought very strange. What, there was no vegetable, no meat, and he served to me with sauce and butter. And then I tried it. It tasted very sweet, but he said put on, put on top bowl like a syrups. And they taste like just for me, just like a candy. And then I thought just like this is advertised. I asked him, where is the rest of the food? And he said, this is, that's it. This is for breakfast. Oh, and they surprised him. <laughs> and then today we learned that what we call the pancake is a big difference between Korean and American. And now it's, he like my Korean pancake. Also, I sometimes I like his sweet American pancakes. In Korea, pancake eaten on rainy days with a special unfiltered rice wine called makgeolli, types of alcohol. And this is because the sound of cooking pancake is said to sound just like rain. Sound just like rain. You can listen when we're cooking later. They also said that at restaurant that served to pancake and makgeolli are special busy on rainy days. I don't know that's true. I will, I will check it later when I go next time in Korea. And this is pancake also very famous one of Anju. Anju is meaning is food dish, side dish or food or side dish you can have with alcohol when you drink. But I search for Anju is what is called in English. But English is such no that types of vocabulary exactly can describe. So, but I found that very similar vocabulary, it's called chaser, I think chaser. But in Korea, have that types of culture. Okay, so let us start with the ingredients. Here I prepared small fresh shrimp, soy sauce, little bit of garlic, pear and onion bread. I use many types of dish and made quite a bit, store in the refrigerator two or three days. Here ice water and Korean pancake mix. It's different American pancake mix. You can buy Korean at Korean market. Or you can use all-purpose flour but then you need a little bit salty and black pepper. Here is I prepared the small two jalapeno and carrot, chive. That's it. I'm going to cut chive first. Cut into three or five centimeters like this. And cut spice pepper. You can use serrano pepper, jalapeno pepper. And we are going to remove the seeds. Mm -hmm. 
a small piece. Chop it fine. And save a little bit. Later use for sauce. And then less of them put into bowl. Next, cut carrot into slices. I'm going to use a half. This, you can skip it. It's kind of optional. But if you put into carrot and pancake looks more colorful and very beautiful. Put into a bowl and mix it together. Next, 3 teaspoons of soy sauce. 1 teaspoon of garlic 3 tablespoon bread and pancake flour Save a little bit if it uh, need more we are going to put more and mix it together very well a little more and add the shrimp and the ice water this ice water is important things it makes pancake more crunch so make sure you use ice water All done. And I am going to make sauce. One tablespoon sauce and put into two tablespoon water and mix it together. We do just chop the spicy pepper and turn on the heat. When it's pan a little hot, a little get hot and then put into oil. Spray evenly. And put into pancake mix. What do you think of this sound? Is that sounds like a rainy? I think. After around three to five minutes, you can turn over. Look at this side. You can see this color a little bit like a golden color. Looks beautiful pancake. Look at this. Our chive pancake ready. Let's try it. This sauce just made with jalapeno and soy sauce and a little green onion. You chop the fine and then just mix together, make a little sauce. Oh, this is that called makgeolli. Unfiltered rice wine, Korea rice wine, looks like this. You can get it at Korea market. Yeah. Then let's try it. When you taste it, it's just like a little bit sweet, like a drink, but don't drink too much. It's actually alcohol. Hum. How many percent? It's six percent. So. If you drink a lot, later you will feel uh oh hey over over dizzy dizzy over drunk. Okay, let's try it. I like I because I like seafood. Today I put lots of 
three. You can see it. You can add in squid and octopus, anything if you like it. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes so good. Mmm. I put the two hot jalapeno. So it tastes a lot of spice and very nice chewing shrimp. Mmm. So yummy. And very chive, you know, very crunch. It actually, this part a little bit crunchy. What is it called? Surface? <laughs> okay, you know. It's very good with macaroni. Try it. Mm -hmm. So, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time. Bye bye. Annyeong.